we have had quite the busy offseason. Let's take a look. Hey there, welcome back. It's episode number nine of Dominating Denmark with Bold Klubben Frem. So here we go. We had a lot of changes we needed to make over the offseason. We're going to review those changes and play, I believe we'll play the first game today against FC Helsingor, who I believe are recently promoted. No, demoted. So great. We get to go against the team from the first division that got demoted into our division this season to start off fan freaking tastic. But we're fine. We've had a lot of good signings, I think. And we've had some people go, including one that I thought I really wanted to keep. So let's take a look at them right now. All right. Let's look at the transfers. So let's look at the outs first, because you don't know who any of these people are. Cool. The first one. Ugh, Emil Dyer. He is, he was, uh, I'm just upset about Emil Dyer. Now he's 33, but he played really well for us last season. You know, six, eight, four and 14 appearances, three goals and assists, the player of the match. Like I thought he had, he's got good stats, good winger can play on both sides, really prefers the right side. But uh, he was complaining last season about, you know, not uh, building up the club enough or, you know, or lack of depth or whatever you want to call it. And so I went to offer him a contract, even though it said in the promises, I told him I was going to I was gonna work on building up the club, and he was like, cool, we're good. He's, he was happy with the progress, like it said in his happiness. We're happy with the progress being made. He said, no, I'm not interested in signing a contract. So it's like, it was his choice, not mine. So he walked. Uh, Andreas Peterson, who I guess was a backup goalkeeper or youngster or something like that. So he walked. Um, that's the garage door downstairs opening, if you can hear it. I don't know. Simon Stage, who was the just overall super mediocre uh, left back, right back on a free. We weren't paying him. He was the amateur contract. Mark Sundstrup, who we who we were paying two thirty a week last season, has gone for nothing to VSK R House. So that's pr pretty good. Mikkel Anderson, I wanted to keep him around. I was in the midst of figuring out contracts and stuff like that. His contract expired, and Braybrand came in and offered him a role. So I'm a little unhappy about that. I'm not completely gutted because we got some good options instead. Like He was definitely more of a backup. I just cut loose Henrik Volkardsson, who played well, but we were paying him 170 a week on a backup contract, which was just too much for his abilities. Uh, Zimling, we let go again. He was okay, but not fantastic. And then Kevin Nielsen, who was some guy on our backup or our B team who was never going to make it, let him go. So not a big loss there. But so the only one I'm really, really upset about is Dyer and maybe Anderson a little bit. So not terrible. And we have spent absolutely no money because we have no transfer budget, but I really like the players that we have brought in. So let's look. Morton Frecy. Love when you have a new player join it. All of their stuff goes downhill. Excellent. But got him on an amateur contract, two and a half star, four star potential. Um, not bad. Good backup option. Give us a little bit of death. Death. A little bit of death. Hopefully not. Depth is what I meant to say there. He's very well suited to second division soccer. Soon Anderson, who is a youngster. I was just trying to build up our uh, U19 team a little bit. Got him on a free Three-star potential ability. He's okay. You know, not terribly. He's 16, though, so nothing crazy there. Uh, I think it's this Mads or Mas Roan. Someone in the comments told me how to pronounce it, and I'm probably butchering it. I apologize. Again, on a free. I thought he was interesting because he can play striker or midfield. Not, not attacking midfield. Straight midfield. Overall, not bad. Not terrible. Not great. Kind of that okay, but for a backup, backup option for free. I thought he was a good pickup. Uh, this one I like a lot. Um, Tight Tate Jakobsen. We've got him on loan. Mm, he's delicious. He's definitely more of an advanced playmaker. He can play deep line playmaker, but his, his positioning and balance is terrible. So we're going to play more of an advanced playmaker role in the midfield. Um, but three star current ability, five star potential ability. Um, he's played in some of our friendlies, 693. We had the Money League. It was a 7.1 in that game. I think he's a, a nice, solid pickup. He's got some, you know, doesn't get into rough challenges. That's why we're going to put you on Advanced Playmaker, so don't mark anyone. Um, he's a current international. Hmm. And then Nassim Mahadine, who is French. We got him in for from Silkborg IF. 
don't know if you can hear my dog barking. I'm very excited about that. Um, lost my as a deep lying playmaker. Overall, three star, five star potential ability. Really like him. Sorry, I had to go see what my dog was barking at. Anyway, but I like him as a pickup. Three star current ability, five star potential ability. Deep lying playmaker can play in the central midfield again. Marking not so great, but good good pickup. And then Yao Diodone, who's Ivorian, four star current ability, five star potential ability. We got him on a backup contract because like I don't like I when I'm bringing loan players in, I don't want to guarantee them like first team time if I can prevent it. So decent crossing and dribbling, but. 14 acceleration, 13 pace. I think his physicals and his like decisions and flair are kind of what are making him a pretty good player. If we play him on attack in particular to, to utilize that flair, passing is not so good. But if we just get him to cross it in or just attack the ball himself, pretty good option. He's actually better than Camille, who we did sign. I'll, I'll go over that here in a second. We got him back on a contract. Um but for it, he's already played in, in seven games for us. He's got six assists, two goals. Looks like a delicious pickup. Very happy with that one. He's not going to be the backup. He's he's going he's gonna to play. Um, and then this guy, Simon Staring, plays all over the pitch. Really an advanced forward. Four-star current ability, five-star potential ability. He's already got nine goals. Now, again, that's friendlies, but I don't care. I don't care. He's had nine goals. He had a hat trick in the Money League game he played in. He's absolutely stellar. Doesn't see the full, pi full picture yet. That's fine, because all he does is smack home goals. I don't care about his vision and ability to pass the ball. Smack home the goals. Has played outstanding. He's going to be our starter. We got him on a rotation contract. He's going to be our starter for that up top. And then we picked up Derek Nissen, which is why we cut Volkartsen loose. We got him on a 250 a week contract, which is a little much. But I locked him in for two years, three-star current, four-star potential. Right back can go up here if we if we got desperate, but we're not gonna we're not gonna do that. Can also play in the center back role, but overall 70 acceleration. If we can get him more, we're gonna play more in a support role so we can use that acceleration a little bit. Not attacking necessarily, but overall a very nice pickup. Liking him. And Volkartson was 170 a week, so we're paying an extra 80 a week, but we locked him in for two years. And he's significantly better than Volkortsen, I think. Um, and then we just picked up just a couple days ago, or a couple weeks ago, I guess, in the in the game, Nick Christensen, backup amateur contract. We needed a little more depth here for uh, Falk. So if he goes out injured or something like that, he plays more an advanced uh, or a shadow striker than the advanced playmaker that Falk plays. But he can also play up top if we needed him to in a defensive forward standpoint. But he's got overall for the Shadow Striker. Advanced play where he's not as good, but he's not terrible, right? It's just the flair that is off. So we can play him in a Shadow Striker role and utilize lo lots of his fancy green ratings. I think he's going to be quite the nice player for us. Again, as a backup. Uh, I mentioned... Oh, hmm, look. We still got Koltoft. So let's go through the people that we've re-signed or re-loaned and all that kind of stuff. So we've got Koltoft back. Same deal as last year. He's now a first-teamer. He's going to play with Stockholm. I, you should know him. You can pause it if you want to look at him and go back. But very, 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 very happy that he's back. Um, Where are we? Camille is who we signed. So I, I, I was trying to decide. We got Camille. We got Austin Care. We got Holm. So I've signed Camille. Two-year deal, 300 a week, first team. So he got a nice little bump on the pay rate for us, but he can play on either side. He's very versatile versatile player. He's already gotten a 7.3 rating for us thus far this season. 28 appearances last year, 4-9, not bad. Um, and we're going to play him a lot more. So we're good with him. And we have decided to keep Daniel Holm. So here's my reasoning on this. Daniel Holm's 22. He went down from 3 or 325 a week to 240 on a rotation contract for two years. So he's actually saving us some money on the budget. He's been willing to work with us. We got three-star current ability, four-star potential ability. He can play up top, so he can kind of, um, when staring needs a break, he can play up top. If Camille needs to play on the other side, he gives us some depth, essentially, at our key spots here. Not really that good at the, the center of the attacking midfield, but we can play him on the wings. We can play him up top. 
rotation contract. He's not blowing us away, right? Like he's inconsistent, doesn't enjoy big matches, but compared to Austin care, who's on 300 a week, I still got him. So I need your help deciding what to do with him. I think I'm just going to cut him loose. Dreads playing a big matches has shown that he may be in decline. My, my only hesitation was he did get five and five in a six, nine, eight rating with us last season. But if he's starting to fall apart, you know, he he's come in five, what total subs, uh, substitute appearances. He's got a goal, what uh, two goals to assist. So I'm kind of like, is he just defying the odds? But I think I'm going to cut him loose, but I want to know your count, your thoughts on that. Um, we kept Jakobsen, whose contract was running out. We got him up to 75 a week from like, I don't know, 15 or 60 or something like that on a two-year deal. He's going to be the the guy with Holm rotating in to, to take over for staring. I think that's really all that we all that we re-signed. Oh, Viscom. Yep, he was on 15 a week. We got him up to 80 a week just because he's a five-star, 17-year-old. Looks pretty good. Um, happy with him. We just want to try and continue to get him some more playing time to work his way into the squad. But unless there's somebody else I'm missing here, can we leave? Uh, da, 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 da. Nissen. Yep. That's what's going on with the squad. All right. So we're taking on FC Helsinger today. They play a 4 1 4 1 all the way up. Um, our coach has recommended that we go with a control structured. We're, we've been doing shorter passing and a little bit lower tempo during the preseason just to save our legs a little bit. I think we're going to leave it exploiting the flanks, walk, working the ball into the box. I should show you we have a new assistant manager. Bo Holden has come in. Uh, our last guy, Hen- uh, Rene, I think was his name, was like 7, seven 10 or something like that. So he's 11, 9, 12. He's actually less. He's 55 a week. The other assistant coach wanted 180 on a new contract, so we've saved some money and gotten an improvement. I think that's pretty good. We actually got a new head physio. We stole him for free because someone stole ours, and then someone stole our physio. So we've kind of been playing a little bit rotation game there. But that's the squad we're going to roll out today. Lots of loanies, lots of new players in the squad, playing control against a team that got relegated. They are favored even though they are away. So we'll see how this plays out. Here we go. I really appreciate all the support. You guys have been absolutely, like, my Danish viewers have been absolutely insane. Uh, The number of views, comments, likes, people who have subscribed, you guys have been fantastic. Share it with your friends. Hopefully we can get Frem promoted this season. Odds makers put us at third, like, I can't remember what the odds were. Pretty good odds, but we were third on the list of potential to get promoted, and Falk has picked up in the second minute, a yellow card. Excellent. Excellent. Call soft. Okay, so we got... Okay. I'm going to say stay on your feet for a little bit if we're going to start calling cards at the very beginning part of the season. All right, lads. We've, we're owning possession. That's good. Larson dinks it off someone's head. Peterson. Oh, off the, off the crossbar. Kabili. What is with this camera angle? Oh, so we're completing our passes. That was nice. Okay, we got a little short corner set up here to draw the defender away. Kick it into the middle of the... Oh, who was that? Yao was sitting there. He should have attacked the ball. Could have smacked it home there. That was a nice little corner, minus the fact that we didn't score. Staring runs onto it. He needs to come off, I believe, in the 60th minute because he's been injured. So I got to remember to do that. Yeah! So I was like, come on, he just tripped him. Staring, leaving the leaving the right foot behind there. Well, oh, he tripped me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that uh, five-star potential ability. No card? No card, just a talking to. I think Stockholm is our is our <laughs> penalty taker, our center back. I, whatever. We're taking our time. He's freaking the goalkeeper out. Let's go. Slots at home. Goalkeeper goes the wrong way. We're up 1-0. We're up 1-0. Let's get promoted. Come on, boys. We're not, we don't need to watch that. That was pretty simple, in my opinion. Yeah, the clear cut chance. Was that the clear cut chance? Is the penalty count as a clear cut chance? Who knows? Right. So we're maintain. Oh, possession's gone down a little bit. Okay. Boy, they are tripping us all over the place, huh? Okay, we're doing all right with possession. They're winning the headers. Call Toft is going to get a card here. Even though we told him to chill out. 
Okay. We've had all the shots, though. Okay. Why would you say that? Stockholm has a bruised thigh. It's a bruise. You're fine, right? Let's see if he starts recovering. He's, re he's fine. He's fine. Might slow him down a little bit. We might take him off at the half, but we already have to take staring off at 60 minutes. Boy, they got a lot of cards, huh? Middle of the pitch. Even though we're exploiting the the flanks, their middle of the pitch is getting the cards. I think that's kind of interesting. Camille hooks it in. Falk was there, but couldn't get to it. Nice job. Okay, the game is glitch. Ashoya is... I don't have an Ashoya. You see, you see this. Ashoya. Ashoya. That's Nielsen. I don't know why his name is Ashoya. I don't... I... I, I mean, it's showing too, right? That's my right back. Staring. That's a nice job. I don't know what the goalkeeper's thinking there. We don't have an Ashoya. Is his middle name Ashoya? His middle name's Ashoya. I don't know why it's using his middle name. Okay. Do what you like. Do what you like. Uh, hold on. What's he got? Oh, they're loving it. They're loving it. Okay, let's... Let's calm it down. We don't want anybody getting sent off. Boys, we have a 2-0 lead. Let's do this. We'll see how Stockholm does, and then we gotta take staring off. We gotta take staring off. Can you imagine on the sideline, the coach being like, staring's gonna come off. Staring's gonna come off. Okay, we gotta take staring off. He'd be like, boss, I'll just tell you, I need to come off, right? Free kick. Ooh, they get, they get another yellow. Yikes. We are wrecking the middle of their, the pitch there. Staring with his excellent runs, that's what it is. They pick up another, okay. Staring has got to come off. All right, who are we bringing on here? I think we're gonna bring on Jakobsen. We'll bring on the youngster. We got a two nil lead. Holm can come on for one of the wingers. Stockholm is doing okay. He's hanging in there. It's a bruise, mate. Like, you're fine. You're fine. It shouldn't impact you, in my opinion. Here we go. They're bringing on some... Boy, they, they have... They just burned all their substitutes. Why are we tight? He's not on the pitch. That's weird. We're tightly marking and closing down the guy that's not on the pitch anymore. Stockholm playing through injury, 69% on a 7.2. Loving it. Okay, that's... I don't know what's happening. I don't know what's happening. So they got yellows everywhere. We've got one, Reiner Peterson. Okay, okay. Might take Stockholm off here in a minute, but he's playing well, playing through the injury. I think with 10 minutes left, we'll, we'll try and rest him just a little bit. We do have a cup game in like three days, which is really, really, really unfortunate. Um, we don't want to lose Peterson. So Jakobsen can come on. Can they switch that around? Nope. Jakobsen, what do you like to play, son? You're, oh yeah, you're the advanced playmaker. So we'll put you on that and we'll put you on defend. And you can go on defend. That's yeah, fine. Let's not screw this up, boys. Stockholm's gonna come off, save the captain's legs. This will be a nice, if we can hold on here, a nice victory. Again, they just got relegated. So, in theory, you'd think they've got better players. Boy, they have yellow carded it up, haven't they? Referee's like, I got, you get a card, you get a card, you get a card. All right. Just wait for this last highlight. Dinks it away. Falk, just don't get sent off, mate. All right. Nice victory. So let me take a look at the schedule here. Yes, I think we can be pleased. They're loving it. Continue the analysis. Okay. So it puts us tied for first, right? Everything is the same. So we're really tied for first. Nice little start to the season. Oh, it's not three days. It's two days. Mm, lovely. So we'll come back because we got bumped out in the first round last time. This is BK Union. 
who are a Vanish lower division. They don't even exist in the game. We'll play them in B1908. And then after that, we'll kind of play some games and kind of see where we end up. But this is an important game to continue our cup run or to have a cup run, considering we didn't have one last season. So smash a like on there. Subscribe if you're new. Share this all around. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about those signings. We'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.